NFL pick them week eight. Ravens at Buccaneers. This was tough a tough game. If if Bateman doesn't play, I think I'm going with the Bucs. If Bateman does play, I'll go with the Ravens. The Bucs have just been super underwhelming. They need a win. And I'm going to continue to be a fool and pick them every week. I, I just really, I can't help it. They should not be as bad as they are, but the offensive line has been terrible. I think that this is definitely a winnable game, especially at home. So I'm going Buccaneers. The Buccaneers win this game. This is a bounce back game for them. I think the Ravens' pass defense is horrible. So Brady's going to throw for over 250. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin are going to go off. I'm ready for this that. This is their bounce back game. Broncos at Jaguars. It's going to be the first time on the show, this season at least, that I pick against my Broncos. So I'm, they'll win. I'm going with, listen. And then we know trade Bradley Chubb and get that first round pick. That definitely is going to happen. Uh, no, but I, I think the Jaguars do win this game. I think the Jags win as well. The Broncos just lost on offense. Jaguars win this game. I think they desperately need it, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Broncos win just because their defense can cause problems for Trevor Lawrence and that offense. And the Jag- the Broncos realistically just need one, two good offensive drives, and they can win games, but they just haven't had it. With Russell Wilson or Brett Ripping, it doesn't matter. So I, I think the Jaguars win, but very close game. Dolphins at Lions. Dolphins should win this game. I'm going with the Dolphins for sure. Dolphins easily. Panthers at Falcons. Tough game to choose. I'm going Falcons, but I don't feel great. Yeah, Carolina's coming off one of their highest highs over the last couple years, being able to beat Tampa Bay. Um, I do think Atlanta gets gets back on track. I think they win. I think Carolina wins. Steve Wilkes had an amazing defensive game plan against Tampa Bay, and I, I do think Arthur Smith, to a degree, is starting to get a little bit more limited with Mariota. Because he can't drop Ritter? back with him consistently. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Not even a glimpse of Ritter. I guess, I mean, they were, they were three and four right now, right? Yeah, they I think three Ritter maybe week. comes in after, like, post-week 10. I okay, think, Post-week 11. But I think the Panthers win this one. And Steve Wilkes, I wouldn't be surprised if after the season we're talking about him potentially being a, the mainstay head coach for the Panthers. There's a brand new fantasy app. It's called Boom Fantasy. You got over-unders, player props. You got matchups. This player versus that player that's personally... My favorite and long shots. You can win 40 times your money. And if I'm not mistaken, Joel, NBA is coming soon. Yes, sir. NBA will be in the app in the next 10 days or so. You know, I believe opening night is October 19th. So we'll have stuff up a few days beforehand. Uh, That's going to be fun because we uh, have it every night. You don't have to wait till Monday, Thursday. Did you get your code? For the for league what? pass? I did get my code I for the league pass. I got my code, too. Yep, that's amazing. That's from 2K, right? Yes. That's, that's tough. Amazing. That's fire. So if you guys haven't already <laughs> downloaded the Boom Fantasy app right now, link is in our description or in the caption wherever you're watching. Carter knows at Vikings. I'm going with the Vikings. Going with the Vikings as well. I feel like this is going to be a very, very close game. Of course, I it's the pick, Vikings. I want to pick Minnesota, but something about this game tells me Arizona got a little momentum. D-Hop is back. Collar making things happen. I was like that. Surprise. I, you know, I'm going to pick Arizona in this game. I think they upset I like Minnesota. That. Honestly, I do. Bears at Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys win this game. I have, Hopefully it looks a bit prettier than last week. Facts. Yep. I have the Cowboys in this game. Raiders at Saints. Another tough game, but I'm going with the Raiders. Raiders have looked good. Their run, their run offense has been great. Tay's going to continue to feast. Andy Dalton's going to give that defense a couple interceptions. The Raiders offensively clear them. Raiders should get it done. I got the Raiders in this game. Steelers at Eagles. Eagles. Eagles should smoke them. Eagles should win pretty easily. Patriots at Jets. Listen, I, I have the Jets winning this game. You're at home. There's no excuse. Get it done. Jets just won games. Four-game win streak. First time, long time. Um, defense is elite. Offense without Brees Hall, it's going to look different. It's going to be a lot more on Zach's shoulders. Best thing is that Mike Carter's not a scrub. He's not, no. Um, it's just when you could get those, I don't want to call it cheap plays where you just take 60 yards for a touchdown or 60 yards, get course, down to the one, makes course. offense a lot easier. But Jets should get it done. If Mac Jones starts this game, does scare me a bit more. Because I don't think Bailey Zappi's very good. I'm going with the Jets in this one. I think our defense stifles their offense, and I think Zach Wilson's going to have a really good day. I'm so, we didn't talk about the Patriots quarterback situation at all, but real quick, how ugly was that last night? I loved it. You gave him two drives, and you're just like, nah, Bailey Zappi. Nothing makes me happier than the Patriots just fucking so failing. So stupid. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Titans at Texans. Titans should win this game. I have the Titans for sure. Oh. I have the Titans in this game. Giants at Seahawks. An amazing game we're going to watch. Is this 1 o'clock or 4? I think four. 
four. Going with the Giants. Going with the Giants as well. They just they know how to win games. I oh, took them man. last week. I took Did them last you? week too. Yeah. All right. I'm going with the Seahawks. Yeah. The Giants have one of the worst rushing defense DVOAs. The Seahawks are able to run the ball. Even though they, they lost DK Metcalf, I love their speed. Tyler Lockett, Marquise Goodwin, Dwayne, Dwayne Eskridge. Although the stats aren't there from he has a good ability to stretch, uh, stretch the field. So I have the Seahawks in this one. This is a losable game. This is a losable game for the Giants. Still the same thing about Jacksonville, too. Yeah. I felt very com- – I mean, Jacksonville's been playing very underwhelming these last couple weeks. I understood that, it, you know, you were going on the road. Jacksonville needed to win desperately. This week specifically, though, Seahawks have been actually playing good ball consistently. Commanders at Colts. Commanders? They just beat the, the Packers, even though we understand that the Packers really are not who anyone thought that they would be coming into this season. And the Colts are starting Sam Ellinger. That's all I have to say. Who do you got? It's the Commanders. It's Commanders? That defensive line is going to dominate. You're not dominate. sure? I'm really not. I Chase Young is back at practice. <laughs> is he going to play? I I'm not sure, but he's back at practice. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be a bit closer. I think they're going to have to rely on Jonathan Taylor more and Sam Ellinger. I don't know if it's an upset, but we'll take the Colts. Let's see what happens. 49ers at Rams. I don't know if I'm going to pick the Rams rest of the season. Yeah, I'm picking the Niners. That defensive line compared to the Rams' offensive line should just be an absolute manhandling. Nick Bosa is about to have a field day. I'm going with the Niners for sure. I'm going with the 49ers. Packers at Bills. Bills. Going with the Bills. Don't even think twice. I think it's like the first time in Aaron Rodgers' career he's like double-digit underdog, something like that. If the Packers win this game by some miracle of God, I don't know what I'll do. I'd Put be, something ridiculous in the comment section. I'll do it. Off a bye week, I think the Bills like blow the Packers out. Yeah, for sure. Got to be. Bengals at Browns. Bengals. Bengals win this game. Divisional game on the road Monday night, but Bengals, Bengals are the win. Bengals, bro. Come on. Yeah, I know. Joe Burrow has not beaten the Browns in his career really? this far. That changes this Monday? Yeah, it does. He's going to win. And they go on a win streak, and they're going to take a sizable lead on the end of AFC North. Sure. All right, let's see it. Thank you.